Can I talk to you? Husband left you. Your husband left you. Yes. You know, um, there was a time when they kill the fowl, you cook it. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. After, yes, I after, remember, sir. After you have eaten, chicken is a priest now. Those animals they brought, it is people that came for charm. Oh, man of God, thank you. I'm not even here for myself. I'm here for my friend. Wait, yo, you, I'm talking to you. Yes, sir. Wife or priest, call your friend. Budosa ke. Budosa karo. Inside the church. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. We cannot budosa anything here. No, no. Budosa, budosa, wait. Budosa. Stand up. Stand up. They lie against you. Send for the man. Can you carry them? Carry them go there. Hey God! I'll never fail. I'll never fail. At last, oh God! At last, oh God! Emmanuel. My name is Mrs. Caroline Botosan from Delta State. I'm 43 years old. The lady beside me is my friend, my best friend, Mrs. Julie Awala. The one next to me is my husband cousin, Ofer Edkan Botosan. This is my loving daughter, Derin Benemo. And this is my son-in-law, Alpha Benemo. We are here for testimony because the prophecy that the man of God gave to me is very true. Last Monday service, we are in the service. Man of God now went to my friend and prophesied for her. But she, she left her own problem shouting, I'm not here for my own problem, for, I'm here for my friend. So the man of God said, call that your friend. And then I called Mrs. Caroline Botosa. That is why I ran out from the, from the crowd. Shout you, man of God, help me. Say the lie on your head. And that is what brought yourself from Delta State. This thing started in February 2010. Say that I kidnapped my mother-in-law. I used to do ritual in my compound. One day before I came back to school, my husband cleared all the flour in my compound that I put jazz. They said nothing like that. But this man will not give me peace. This man took me to the, my pastor said, I must be in synagogue today. So I came that day, and God locate me. All what the man of God said is true. They lie against you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I'm rolling, rolling, rolling. And all this thing started when my husband pregnant that one small guy in my community. Don't ever, I don't have peace. Who made this move like this year? He now used a cutlass that he want to butcher me. Me and one of my sons, I ran into my son's room. 
This man started marching the door. I said, this is the man that loved me very much. What is happening? And then started shouting. The community now run to my, to my stage and hold my husband. That those my children that are in UK. I said, oh, these boys have gone to UK. If the father wants to be people with me, that's why I said I must be in synagogues. And thank God, my husband support my coming here with my pastor. That's why we are here. The prophecy is very true. Praise the Lord. And all this thing started again in October when my husband's mother was kidnapped. I'm husband in US then. The family started coming to my gate that I'm the one that kidnapped their mother with my son-in-law. And I said, it's not true, nothing like that. I called my husband in the U.S., but my, my husband had told well, when he came back to Nigeria, he started adding funny that I should go and produce the mother with my son-in-law. He started treating us. The day of my daughter's wedding, my husband seized all my five children that I have for him that they should not go to my daughter's marriage. I wept. But see yet, and my husband said I should go and bring her mother. I'm the one that kidnapped it. And the mother was released. The same mode, but the man doesn't give me peace. All you call me kidnappers, Rishwa. Thank you. My name is Mr. Alpha Benemo. I'm from Delta State. I reside in Wari precisely. The woman here, as she has said, is my mother-in-law. These are our siblings, our friends, and the lady there is my wife and my lovely daughter. Sometime, I, I work with, uh, some years back, I work with uh, Mr. Isaac Botosa, who is my boss and my mentor. We live together as father and son. We've been living together because I work with him in his company as a manager. Then I took the daughter, the stepdaughter, but we don't call him stepfather. I took the daughter as my wife. It was when we planned for marriage after the introduction, everything, that we don't know where hatred came from. There's hatred everywhere, confusion. All of a sudden, they started saying, he started saying, accusing me that I wanted to kill him. I put poison in food for him. I sent stroke to him. I used to do medicine, everything to him. Then one day, he called the workers in his home. Together with some of the community people, leaders who are staying around, and myself, we all sat down. He started accusing me, accusing us that we've been doing, we've turned his house into a medicine, a juju, a spot where they do medicine that wants to kill him, wants to kill him to acquire his property, all sort of accusation. And I asked all of us to excuse him before he now traveled. The chief you are talking about is here. You can't be talking like that to Chief while he's around. So let Chief come out and talk by himself. You remember, you have called him your mentor, your leader, your chief, your this, your that. Regardez votre écran, le mari de cette femme ainsi que sa mère. Une de rentrer en scène. Le mari qui a accusé sa femme et son beau-fils d'avoir kidnappé sa mère. On va maintenant l'écouter. I want to say thank you very much for coming and uh, me hear my phone call. You, you abandoned everything and you decided to come here today. Thank you very much. Malagov, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Emmanuel, I am Mr. Isaac Botosa. I am 50 years old. The person sitting by my left is my mother. Madame Alice Babine. The next to her standing is my elder's daughter, Cynthia Abutusan. And like them, children themselves, we are together. It all started in the, like my wife said, in February, February 22nd, 2010. I have a small daughter outside. The lady gave birth to the daughter on the 5th of November. My wife gave birth to a son. On the, on the 10th of October, 2010, the other wife gave birth to a girl on the 5th of November, 2010. By January, we did the, name, the naming ceremony and Thanksgiving service of my other son with my housewife in a church. February 22nd, we went to my other wife's church for the naming ceremony and Thanksgiving. Then my wife came, it disrupted the activity and fought the pastor and tore my shirt inside the church premises. My mother was there, my family were there. That is where the trouble started, man, man of God. When later this alpha came there, they were videoing them. I watched the video at home and I saw my son-in-law 
I take him, talking to my, mother, my wife, Momsy, Momsy, you don't do first, you don't do first, Mom could go first, another day, day. I watched the video, I was surprised. That, that is where the trouble started. Thereafter, I called her home, I said, Madam, what is the problem? You know about this girl. Can you give her peace? What do you want? What can I do for you? He said, you want to do business. You want to do business? You are a teacher. You can't do business. He said, okay. What business? He said, this is their forever living. How much do you want? 3.5 million. Madam, take. I gave her the money. Go and do your business. She left. Then we have that piece. After that incident of the church dedication, I begin to observe with my experience that my in-law is now paying more allegiance to my wife than myself. Alpha, the man standing here. At a point, I called the boy. I said, Alpha, are you working for me or you are working for my wife? He said, he's working for me. I said, because I'm watching you. Your activities are becoming, you've changed your activities. At times, we go to my office with my wife. They open my door and I sat in my chairs. When my managers are there, they will call my attention. I said, Mother, what are you looking for in my office? He said, just go with my son, go to my office. Are you a member of my staff? So this thing we're going on. At the point, I called the boy. I said, look, I'm not suspecting you because, in fact, from, the, from February 22nd, when this incident happened, I stopped eating in my house up to this moment. I've not tasted food in my house because I was suspicious. The boy was so close to my wife than even myself. So I called his attention on the 27th of October. I said, look, Alpha, the way you are behaving, I'm suspecting you. You are going to be married to my wife's daughter. I think you are paying more allegiance to my wife because of the incident that happened. So excuse me. Go, the word I tell him, I say, go and confess your sins to God. Give me some chance. I will call you back later. That was October 27. November 8, I went on a business trip with Chevron to U.S., Houston, Texas. On the 14th of November, we were about preparing to come back to Nigeria. Somebody called me that my mother was kidnapped. This is my mother that was kidnapped. Oh, you mean while you are in the U.S., you receive a call that your mother was kidnapped? While I was in the U.S., on the 14th of November, I got a message, a call from Nigeria that my mother was kidnapped on her way to church. This woman? My mother, the one sitting by her, Madam Alice Babine. Okay. That she was kidnapped. Immediately, I called one of my managers who worked with me. I said, my mother is kidnapped. I said, yes. What is the position? I said, they are looking for her. I said, look. Call Alpha, the boy I sent out of my house. I uh, begin to suspect him. Tell him that if he's in possession of my mother, if he's part of it, they should release my mother. I said, look, I suspect that Alpha is behind this kidnap of my mother. Tell him that I'm coming back to Nigeria. I mean the brother here? This one, yes. That is my suspect. I said so. You said it in U.S.? From U.S. That is the suspect? Yes, that was the first Why? question I made. Why did you suspect? Because I sent him out of my home on the 27th of October, and the incident of my mother happened two weeks after. So you suspected him? Yes, man of God. Okay. When you suspected him, you gave a call? Uh -huh. I, gave, I gave a call. To who? To another manager that I should call him. I was not talking to him directly. I asked the boy to pass a message to him that I suspect that he is behind the kidnap of my mother. Thereafter, I arrived in Nigeria on Monday night. I was in my hotel room, and I called the same boy. I said, look, I'm already in Lagos. Tell Alpha that I'm coming to worry tomorrow, on Tuesday. Before I get to worry, he should make sure my mother is released, or I'm going to arrest his parents, his mother, his father, himself, and all their household. Five minutes later, I called the boy. Did you pass the message? He said, he said yes, he passed the message. Fifteen minutes later, my younger sister was in worry. When they kidnapped my mother, they started negotiating with her, 30 million, 40 million. I never told anybody that I was in Nigeria except that boy that I asked to relay the message to Alpha. 15 minutes later, my younger sister phone called me. I picked my phone. She was crying on the other end. I was trying, what, is, what was going on? He said, brother, brother, you are us. I just came in now. He said, why now? I said, what is happening? He said, the kidnapper said that I called them, that I'm threatening to arrest them with policemen, to arrest them, that your brother wants to make trouble. If that's what your brother is going to do, they will kill your mother by 12 o'clock tomorrow if you don't bring the money. Okay, how did they know? That is where I am surprised, man of God. Because that was why I see based my suspect again on the same affair. Okay, this is why you suspect the gentleman. Yes, sir. This it, is because the phone call you gave. The, the phone call I gave, I asked the boy to relay the message to him that this is what I'm going to do if I get to worry. So I was surprised. I was surprised. This, the kidnappers called my sister that I even called them, and I don't even have their number. So that was why I suspected him. After some 20 minutes, my mother that was kidnapped with them, my mother phone rang me. I knew that the kidnappers were calling because she was in their custody. It rang for about the seventh time I picked the phone. 
the kidnapper said, talk to your mother. He gave the phone to my mother. I was speaking our Shekri language with her. They took the phone away from her again. I had, I had them on the map. PC. Mama talk to Ibo. They now gave the phone back to her. She was not crying. She said, my picking. Come and take me away. They want to keep me. I asked her, I said, give the phone back to the boy. He gave the phone back to the boy. And I told the boy that he, if, in fact, I ran a course on the boy that he kidnapped my mother because I was away. That I know they are ringleader. And I know who sent them that the moment I come to worry, I'm going to get hold of all of them. And I caught my phone. I hooked my phone. You are the one who hooked this phone? I hooked my phone now. And you told the kidnapper that what? That I know their leader. That I know who sent them. And you say what? That when I get back, I will get hold of all of them. So, man of God, when I get back to worry on Tuesday, my family, they were already, my younger sisters, my elder one, they were already crying. They said, let's go and pay money. Pay money. They have negotiated money already. I called my younger sister. He said he has reached an agreement to give them some money. How much? He said 4.8 million. We raised the money and they gave them the source. They were giving to the kidnappers. About nine o'clock, we were trying to trace them. So there was a boy who went to give them the money, the guys they took the money from. They now said that we should come and pick my mother from Ugele, a place called Ugele. I now drove to Ugele. You later gave the kidnapper money. Yeah, they, they were calling later now. We gave them money, 4.8 million. Before they released your mom. Yes, man of Before God. Before they released this woman. Yes, man of God. Because my family were crying, and I know I condition people were all over the place. My younger sisters, they were all crying. Okay, because without much ado, I mean, your mommy must have caught some message from these people. Yeah, they spoke with her when she was in their custody. What did the kidnappers told your mom? Man of God, when I when I drove to Willie about nine o'clock, they dropped her somewhere at the filling station, and some good Samaritans took her to where I was because I was not familiar with Willie. On our way back home to worry in the night, when I was, I was not asking, did they touch you? Say no, they're not beat him, my picking. They said, are you the one kidnapped before? As they not see you, now they can carry him. He said, they asked them, what do you picking do? I'm going to leave me now. I'll be old mama. What do I do? I'm going to leave me. Say, your picking want to catch. She's here. She will make the statement herself. What do you picking do now? Say, picking. Why picking take their friend work? Why is him? Why take him take work, give somebody else? That was exactly the word my mother told me. Why can't you allow your mommy to talk? Let your mommy talk by herself. Let's hear from Mama. Imale. My name is Alice Babine. From Borodo Town, but I stand for worry. When I and they serve God, every Sunday, every time now they beg God. Say anything when it be problem for me with my picking. Make it carry and come out for my head with my picking. What it make me the struggle for my picking? Only me, my mama born. But you God give me sister, brother. So I not take them play. When I won't go church, my picking travel to America. I come out for house. Say, I won't look away. Person to carry me go church. Nine then come carry me. Bring moto come carry me naki moto. I don't know them. God nine know them. So he sit for my bag. Two for bag, one driver, one for me, one for me. I say, wait in now, wait in now. He say my picking nine make them come carry me. I say, who should my picking? Because not be only. He say na share man. What did she mind do now? Say she mind give it then work finish. You can't take it work for the hand, give another person. And the money you not pay himself. In people. Now I make them come carry me. I say, God, make them not kill me. Now you are savo. Before me talk, I don't know place when I dig again. Okay, the ch chairman, who are the people you remove work from? Like I said, yellow man of God, on the, on the 27th of October, I asked this man, Afa, standing on my left, to excuse me because of his suspicious activity he was having in my house, and I sacked him. That was October 27th. Is it the only person you removed from war? Yes, man of God. That's at that time, that's the only person. That is why you suspect him? Yes, sir. You listen to that? So, the voice of God we need now. That's all. 
So it is the voice of God. Okay? Because when you say you suspect somebody, you need to examine your utterances in the light of God's way. Whether the person you suspect is the person you are talking about. Okay? So thank you. So, Mama, I hope you are strong now. I strong. Uh, that is my joy. Mama is strong. It's our mommy. So we, we thank God for your life. Hey, Chairman, your wife to you accuse your wife. Man of God. That your wife is responsible for kidnapping. Uh -huh. Why do you want to say about that? Man of God, I accused my wife because she was supporting the person I suspected. Hey, he, how? Each time I raise the issue about the kidnapping and this affair, my wife behaved abnormally. It caused a lot of trouble. At a point, I now say, I'll be your own self, did this matter. That's what I told her. Uh -huh. okay. Instead of her to resolve the matter that and because the boy was to be married to the daughter in three weeks, she didn't give us time to resolve the matter. I call her attention. Let us resolve this issue. He said, no one talk anything. The marriage must go on. Then I say, ah, I'll be your answer every day. That is, why, that is the language I use. Okay. How did they support the person? Each time we raise the issue, we are supposed to raise this issue and settle the matter before they did the marriage of my stepdaughter. She did not even mention, she was not talking about the issue of my mother's kidnap. All what was in her head was the marriage, 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 marriage. Okay. She was always defending the boy whenever I raised the issue. Then I said, how? How, how did they defend the man? Man of God, in our home, it is a tug of war. Each time, there was a time the headmistress came to our house. I raised the matter. The headmistress called her. I said, my picking, if what your husband said is true, either this matter is true or false, your husband has raised an issue. You have to resolve this matter before this marriage. Even if the marriage is tomorrow, you have to call it off. She's here. She said, no, nothing will stop the marriage. must go on. Okay. That is why, because of this argument, in the first time, sir, I called them and said, look, I'm still suspecting this boy, but God will only determine this because I watch Emmanuel TV. I called them that I'm interested in this matter coming to our hands so that we can resolve our matter. Come, let me give you money if you don't have money. Go with your in-law. I offered to give her 500000 To come to where? To come here and stay in hotel and stay for at least one month. So you gave them 500000 naira. I offered to give them that time. They didn't come. It was now I gave her 250 that she came this last time. Okay. Okay, you, you offer to give them 500,000... When, when the matter was on... That they should come to... T.B. Joshua Church, because they say it is difficult to see the man. I say if they go to church every day for one month, the man will see you one day. They refuse to come. <laughs> okay. Where were you when you were sending them to come here? Man of God, I was in worry, sir. Why not take it upon yourself to come on your own instead of saying they must come... Uh, the argument was that I accused somebody and the person denied us. Okay, since you are supporting this person, come and take money, go and clear yourself. Well, God's time is the best. I will not blame you for not coming before now. I say God's time is the best. The case here is about your wife. So if you look at the video, the prophecy actually about your wife. So uh, ignorance that will worry your wife. When I say ignorance, what she's supposed to treat first, she treats last. There are some issues you should treat first. The, let me give a good example. Now, your husband is lying on the bed, crying, please, I want to go to the toilet, come and aid me, come and help me, lead me to the toilet. At the same time, he's saying, I feel like eating food. But instead of carrying this man to the toilet, he now runs to carry food. And he's supposed to carry the man to the toilet first before thinking of carrying food. So the wife is carrying food instead of carrying it. So what she's supposed to treat first, she now begins to treat last. I think that actually made the whole thing look as if uh, it's this, it's that. So, ignorant. So, I think your attitude towards or your husband, can you go there and be on your knee and say, sorry for your attitude? <laughs> and you have... I'm sorry for... No, that is not how to say sorry, please. So, stand up, stand up. That's not how to say sorry. So, you, you cannot use your kneeling down, deceive me. Stand with your husband there. I'm sorry, oh. Well, you know I read the heart. 
I'm not read the lips. It is the heart I read. What are you saying, Mama? What are you saying? I say the word. When you bring there, say, uh, then say slapping. He never heard him for my mouth. I never talk and finish. Nobody tell him, say, now snap me. Now he put my body in condition when he did fight the matter. Now he make people say, your hand day. If not, it not be my picking, not be me. Thank you, Mama. That is why I say, ignorance is worry her. What she's supposed to treat first, she's treating last. So issue that's supposed to attend to is now attend to last. So you know what they are saying. Now look at what your husband is saying. Our brother here, live with your husband, I mean, as a follower. So suddenly, if your, your daughter now later become a wife to the man, even if this man left the house, that should not be a thing of joy to you. Rather, you should look what you can do to amend the, the relationship, to repair the relationship. Tell me how, I don't know how you can have peace. When your in-law is outside, having a disagreement with your husband, and you are with your husband, and uh, imagine, how will you play that kind, that kind of relationship? It's mess. So your duty is to amend the relationship and see what you can do. But that does not concern you. You are talking of marriage. Your husband is not happy, and you are talking of marriage. What kind of marriage is that? And... Uh, 90% of the money you are going to use going out, in, out, is from your husband. The husband says he's not happy. So what can we do to amend this issue? Bring them close. That's all. So now, your husband says he's not happy with this gentleman. Your responsibility is to make sure what can you do since he's your in-law. Are you now telling me now that uh, you are more of your in-law than your husband? You cannot be more of your in-law than your husband. So this is just what we are saying. So this actually mess up the whole thing. You become a sus suspect. So um, um, this is family matter now. I'm going to see the whole family. And I want to tell you that Momo is alive today. I'm happy. And I want to assure you that, look, it's the misunderstanding. When misunderstanding comes, anything can come. So Satan used misunderstanding to bring all sorts of things. Even when there is misunderstanding, if any one of you are injured, you'll say, ah, it's because of misunderstanding. Whatever happened is as a result of that misunderstanding. So I'm here now because of your wife. Other issue like brother here was not actually part of the issue to discuss here because it, the prophecy was given to your wife. But now the gentleman is coming into the matter. So I think let me say to you and your wife first and I to beg Momo. So after that, we cannot talk. So Momo, congratulations. <laughs> Can you please? You, are, you hot Momo eh? and you are putting spectacles. Is that the time to wear the spectacle? Is that the time to wear this? Sandor, Sandor. Come on, wait. This spectacle is not a uh, recommended spectacle. It's just a fashion. It's not the time to do that kind of fashion. It is time of sober reflection. It is time to show. Your husband cannot see you with this bold spectacle. You are coming. It's not, me, it's not given any meaning to what you are talking about. Even if you are my sister and you, you have this argument with me and you are now putting on spectacle in front of me, what are you trying to display? Eh? What are you displaying with this big spectacle? <laughs> eh? What is it? What is it? You two look at it. I'm sorry, Mama. Look at it. Uh, what does it mean to your husband? So it is time. It is time for sober reflection. Remove it and come to Mama. Mama who cannot be happy seeing you putting on. It's not time to put on the best attire. Even apart from disagreement, apart from this disagreement, when you are meeting someone you respect so much, 
you begin to remove your gold, silver, those things that are not important in your body, you remove them, put it in your pocket. By the time you get there, you say, good afternoon, sir. When you leave there, you cannot put on everything you want to put on. What do you mean? Tell me, why they will not call him kidnapper? Huh? This spectacle is just for fashion. Is that they tell you to be inside the church? And you know the situation we are talking about. It's a very sensitive issue. Yeah, you hear what Mama said? Mama said, because of her attitude, that is why we begin to say, is this, is that. And that attitude, he showed it here. Uncle, this is a marriage from God. This is family. I, I say everything when you do, I forget. I, I, because in my picking, he fight. He born for my picking. I say, I they forgive you. So, and uh, your in-law too, I will talk about that after the survey. Because I cannot bring that issue of your in-law in now. Because the issue we are talking about is about your wife. Momo, hmm? no problem. No, no shake. Yo. No wala. No shake chair. <laughs> So please, I will see you immediately. Okay, thank you. Thank you. We believe you have been inspired by the clip you have just watched. Click here to subscribe to witness more of God's power at work in our generation today and stay up to date with the latest prophecies, deliverances, sermons and testimonies from the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Emmanuel TV changing lives, changing nations, and changing the world.